the adultery, and then the Patricia and the dog. The victim's sister called law enforcement because she hadn't heard from the victim in several days. Law enforcement entered the residence and found the victim deceased from apparent multiple stab wounds. During the homicide investigation, uh, law enforcement found that on December 10th, 2012, the defendant attempted to use two debit cards belonging to the victim. The cards were used in an attempt to open a PayPal account connected to the defendant's email address. But, Your Honor, we acknowledge uh, that the defendant's pleading to financial identity fraud. He was not charged with the murder, but obviously uh, this is not a typical financial identity fraud given the uh, serious circumstances surrounding uh, this particular charge. Uh, we would ask that he be sent somewhere in the 8 to 10 year range. Your Honor, I think it's important to note that we are here on a financial identity fraud case. Um, Mr. Salem has never been charged with murder. No warrant has ever been taken out against him. And in two years, Essentially, almost two years, no evidence has come forward for them to charge him with that. So I think that's important to remember that at this point he's never been charged with anything. He's always maintained to me he has had absolutely nothing to do with her death. Um, he is here pleading to the financial identity fraud. He gave a statement regarding to that um, to the police. Um, to the victim's family that um, the court is sorry for the loss of your um, family member. Um, and I don't know what the status is of the um, homicide investigation, um, but hopefully you will get some closure at some point um, regarding that. Sir, you will be um, sentenced to the State Department of Corrections for five years. You'll be given credit for the 275 days that you have served. You want uh, not to have any contact with the um, victim's um, family. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.